Let's start with scaling. Scaling simply means changing the size of an object. It makes an object larger or smaller. There are two types of scaling operations. One can be uniform, where all proportions are kept intact, or non-uniform, allowing dimensions to change independently, such as scaling in x-axis, in y-axis, and in z-axis. We use the symbol s to represent scaling followed by a suffix denoting the axis. For instance, sx for the x-axis, sy for the y-axis, and sc for the z-axis. When sx equals sy equals sz, we call it homogeneous scaling. In simpler terms, all dimensions scale uniformly. If sx, sy, and sz are not equal, it's termed heterogeneous scaling. This means each dimension scales independently. Now, let's explore translation. Translation involves moving an object from one location to another without changing its size. The object can move separately in x-axis, y-axis, and z-axis. We use the symbol t to denote translation. We have tx for the x-axis, ty for the y-axis, and tz for the z-axis. The object can also independently move in the xy plane, yz plane, and zx plane. Now let's talk about rotation. Rotation is defined as turning an object around a point or axis. We use the symbol R to denote rotation. The object can rotate in x-axis, in y-axis, and in z-axis. For the x-axis, we use Rx. It is called rolling motion. For the y-axis, Ry. It is called pitching motion. And for the z-axis, Rz. It is called yawing motion.